I am going to film a quickie little haul bit. It's like a little bit bigger than little, but not humongo, you know? So this is a Planahana order. Journaling card is the Polar Express one. I have a bazillion of those. Then as far as freebies go, I did get the my SPC freebie in matte bronze that matches the current foil bundle we have going and then this was also I believe the November freebie and this is in pixie rose I also had her make me one of these because I'm annoying which is just the hunger games um songbirds and snakes logo and then these are this is like a custom multi in the star font this is one of the newer fonts well it was a font of the month and now it's like a permanent newer font and this is just in lavender hollow but I just do my own and send them to her and she prints and cuts them for me because she's amazing. Then I also ordered the, I don't even know how to, like Bazgath, Bazia, Baziath, like Bazgath, Bags, Bazgath, I don't know, somebody let me know. But it is the um, like fourth wing overlays, so cute in Lavender Hollow. And I don't know when I'm gonna use these, but I'm gonna use them sometime, you know what I'm saying? And then I also have the quotes it's for fourth wing so cute in lavender hollow and then I also did pick up this grocery underlay in um I don't know if I've got it I might have gotten unfoiled and this is just like a bunch of groceries and it is going to match something that's coming out kind of soonish is it soon or in a bit so that'd be cute to have while I was looking through and then I also picked up some of the, well, all of the old SPC collab foil bundles were back in stock for Black Friday. So I went ahead and picked these up. So this one is in the new like flower foil. And I also picked up the solid underlays. I thought this would be a really fun one to use the solid. I also think that this would match um, Cyber Monday Mystery quite well. I don't know if you've seen it. I think this would be really pretty with the mystery. I'm actually really cute with the mystery and like lemongrass. I might actually need to, you yeah, know, it might have been cute to get this in lemongrass and then do this. Oh, I have regrets. Okay. <clears throat> so I did get that. And then I also got another one in, um, so I was like, oh, maybe that would actually look good with the, um, tie-dye pink but I don't really think it looks that great because the orange is like really like hot in this one like very like red orange so I think that this color is really pretty with it so or maybe I'll actually because it came with this foil bundle maybe I'll like mix and match hold on let me show you I think this actually might be cute mix and match the like wavy hollow with this for like different textures because this matches this like greenish orange like it like is like a combo and I feel like it's a pretty good vibe. So I think I'm actually gonna do that. I have no regrets now. And I think I could even use like the, the checkered underlays over these and that could be really fun. Okay, now I'm having like a lot of like really good ideas. But that I'm gonna probably use in August because I think it's giving August vibes. And then I just got this. I, th I actually plan on using this colorway with it but I just don't think it matches very well. So I'll just keep this on hand um when will I use it I don't really know but now I have it and that is everything right everything that I picked up in this plan hand order random haul clip time very very random so let's go ahead and start from the top to the bottom first things first is I do have some stuff in here from Hannah. This is not an order, this is just stuff she made me because she loves me. And the first thing here is my weekly um, custom multi that I whip up and have her print for me. That is for the week of December 4th through the 10th, I believe. I also asked her to do some solid navy underlays for me because whenever I was doing the kit lineup for January, I was like, oh, that'd be really pretty. Was it this one? To do navy underlays and then do the um the star let me show you like what it'll look like because <clears throat> it'll be real pretty the only thing is is her underlays are a little bit shorter than mine but i think it'll be fine so let me line this up it's hard to see the cut lines i think it's like here 
And I always like to, whenever it's a dark foil, I like to give it a little rub with a thing. But I think that's going to be really pretty with this kit. Let me pull this out a little bit because we don't see the shine. But I think that's going to be really, really fun with the Navy, Navy Solid Underlay. So I'm just going to go ahead and slip those back there and then slip this in here which is funny because she's actually also she's using a different kit but she's also using navy underlays this week and I was like maybe I was uh, inspired so and this one I'm going to be using the it was like a, fawn, a foil of the month for November I think the starry gold underneath the underlays for that one which is the cloud ones so that's that and then also she did go ahead and make me this which is going to be for the wizard of oz kit which was a pop mystery um she did like a whole foil bundle and she's like do you want just this page because i know you already got other things and i was like heck yes um i was like really struggling though if i wanted it in red or gold i kind of also want it in red or maybe i could just get like a custom bottom washi that's in red because i think doing the slippers in red would be really pretty but I just don't know it's like is that wasteful and then also having this box in red would be really pretty so I don't know might need more of it we will see and I have that slotted for July I think that'd be really pretty July August kind of vibes in there that's everything from Hannah I have one thing from print impression I needed more of the sticker sleeves so I use these for my kit lineup I use them for foil organization I just use them everywhere and I just need more so yeah that's that's where I was with that they come in a pack they're perfect they work with scroll prints co kits they work with crust press kits they work with right yeah they work with odd loop kits they work well the odd loop ones kind of hang out a little bit let me see uh, or maybe they don't fit hold on <clears throat> yeah they like kind of get close but they still work so they work with a lot of kits once more with love kits so print passion will leave cane link down below like where do i put this I'm put it back here in my other organization stuff then I have an order in from Caress Press. I actually like, I wish I would have had this like three weeks ago because I could have used this kit. But uh, let's go through the foil bundles I got first. I did get the um, Lunar New Year 2.0 in the like champagne lights. I think she calls it like sparkly gold, but it's champagne lights. And I thought this would be really pretty with the kits that I'm planning on using. I think I'm gonna use, well, I got one to use for next year to use with her Lunar New Year art this year. Next, yeah and then I'm gonna use one I think with um maybe I don't have the yacht or maybe it's in here I have like pre-scheduled kind of February so I'm thinking about using one of them with this kit because I also have the one from last year in here I don't know what the difference is um but it might be just like the new format I think these are old format so I'm probably just gonna slip one of these in here and then I will have options and then I'm going to slip some the other ones with the other kit that I have, which she came out with exclusive art this year. Let me find it. This one, um, the green would be really pretty with this, but I'm gonna put the green and the gold with it just in case. And then probably whatever foil I have left over, I will, from this, I will put with this as well, just so I have it all in one spot. But here are the full boxes super cute the tall headers and other boxes bottom washi hole protectors um what are these headers date numbers and deco the deco is super cute um scripts and icons and then just the plain bougie so that is the lunar new year um foil bundles so like i said i think the green more goes with this one so i'm just going to put these which this was the lunar new year art from press the press this year back into my like February slots then I think there might have been some kind of like you get a free foil bundle or something because there was a random sparkle hollow foil bundle in there so I have the out let me put this away and then I did order the cyber one day mystery kit I didn't know the theme but I was like you know what let's go ahead and pick her up so this is like a it says love yourself which I feel like would have been really good for my Thanksgiving week because it was pretty, pretty tragic to say the least. Um, so let's go ahead and go through it. 
but I'm sure I'll have another tragic week eventually, probably. So here are the full boxes. I like the you're bigger than what makes you anxious is really cute. And then like all of the like self-care like books and notes and taking care of yourself. I love the bath is super cute. I love these colors. I think the orange is like different but works. I love this purple color. I love the eggs. They're very cute. Very, very cute. Good vibes. And then you have these people. And then there was like an extra uh, bottom washi strip in here, I think. And then there was also a freebie in the order, which is a Lunar New Year little freebie, which I'm actually going to go ahead and put again with the kit that I'm using this year because I think that is very, very cute. So that is the Cyber Monday Mystery, which is Love Yourself Exclusive Art. I think it is Milk and Berries. Very, very, very cute. Um, so there's that. And then last but not least, I do have an Erin Condren planner here, which I did order one from Target. And it's basically the same quality and it's like $35 or $38 or something. And then I also ordered one from actual Erin Condren. So I figured I'd show it to you. So it has the like newer, like, I don't know what they're calling this, but it's like light blue or light bluish green to like a violet -y color to like a magenta -y purple. I don't know. 2024 in hollow there. And then you have like, it almost looks like snowflakes, <laughs> but it's actually just like the little Erin Condren symbol. But I just picked this up January, today I choose Joy. Um, and this is like the neutral, which is noise. And I'm like, maybe I'll use this as my like off filming planner for next year, just switch it up. I don't know, we will see. I think it's cute. And I always have liked the smell of the Erin Condren planners. It smells like powdered donuts to me and it always has for the past like seven, eight, nine years or whatever. And then there's just this little like freebie pack. But that is everything for this portion of the haul. I think this is my last sticker haul bit for a little while. So let's go ahead and get into it. Well, not for a little while, for the end of this video. But I did place an order for some vinyls on Etsy for some fourth wing type stuff. Stuff. So this is from Maggie Moos on Etsy. Super cute. Um, I think this was a freebie. It's just like a little library gingerbread house. And then I did order these three. So the first one here is um, my brain. Taryn and oh my gosh. You know, if you've read it. Also, but I don't want to spoil it. So we're just going to leave it. And then also this here is um, kind of like a, like, inspired, like, what books would be on kind of her shelf, Violet shelf. So you have a bunch of different books, and they are in white. Oh, yeah, there you go. So you can see it. The Writer's Codex. All kinds of books there. And then you have this here, which is just, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it. Okay. Then let's go on into the Planet Hannah order, which will round out the end of this haul. I was ordering things with uh, Valentine's Day in mind. Where's my notebook? Because I'm not going to remember why I ordered any of this, if I'm going to be honest with you. Here she is. Okay. So I first have my custom multi for the week of Lila's birthday. Super cute and pixie magenta in font two. Then I have some freebies. This is my current freebie, but it will be changing up soon. And this is in hollow and it says merry and bright. It matches the um, gingerbread cookie uh, cookie bundle that is the collab currently, which will also be ending and a new one will be coming out in January. And then this is the December freebie, which says I can still make the whole place shimmer, which is so cute with new year's stuff on the bottom definitely will throw this in to my new year's christmas spread situation so cute then i also have my custom multi in the like snowy font of the month and this is in matte silver i did get this for the city chill kit then let's see what i have in here let's see let me check my apple watch because she's gonna be doing the dude the whole time and distracting me oh journaling card frozen one 
and then it looks like I just have like a bunch of like underlay overlays the first one here I'm gonna use with the one piece set I think this will be really really pretty the sales are set it's in antique gold this is the pirate's life underlays and then I also in antique gold picked up the confetti overlays because I thought that would be really really cute and then also the confetti, um, well, these are header overlays, confetti for um, full box overlays. And that is going to be the look for the one piece set. I think it's going to be really, really cute. Might need to do some bottom washi or something, but I will get to that. Maybe I will make something and Hannah will so kindly just whip her up for me. So there's that. Then I did pick up some lavender, not lavender hollow, is it? Is lavender hollow? Lavender Hollow Let's Game Underlays for Moonlight Gamer. And I think I'm going to be using this for Avery's birthday. I think it'll be very, very cute. And yeah, I'm going to be using the, um, I think I might be using this light blue with it as well. I haven't fully decided, but I think that would be like a really cute combo from my shop. Um, but I got the Let's Game for that. Then I did get some things um, for a football spread because I might do one the week of the Super Bowl. I haven't decided yet because usually we do like apps and like watch the um, commercials and stuff. So I'm going to be using uh, with this football set, which is called football. I'm going to use these underlays. I haven't decided what foil I'm going to use. I'm either going to, I might use black TBH. I think that'd be kind of cool. So, or I'll maybe use like silver or gold even gold hollow um but I got the football underlays for that kit then I also picked up some underlays there's like lots of stuff everywhere so I picked up these and I got them in um let's see what foil color this is I don't really even know it's like gold and silver I don't remember or did I buy it? I don't know. This is the Lunar New Year and it's like gold and silver. I don't know what foil color this is. Um, yeah, I try really hard to like keep everything together, but I don't really know because it says Lunar and then it says bundles. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to do this with this. Maybe I don't know what I was thinking. Gold and silver. I don't even know what foil color this is, but it's Lunar New Year. Gold and silver. So have that, and we'll figure out what my idea was for that in the future. Then I also did pick up these, and these, I don't remember picking these up either. Hearts. Love spell. Confetti orange love spell. Oh, maybe. All right. So then I got these in confetti orange, which is like a, a foil that was brought back for Love Spell. These are all tentative choices in life because I'm also like not entirely sure what I'm doing. And I also don't even really know where Love Spell is. It might be at the back of this one. Okay. I don't even know where Love Spell went. I am losing it. Why am I filming right now? Am I not using it? Did I pull it? I'm pretty sure it's in here somewhere. Maybe it's in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I got confetti orange because I have this pink that I came out with. It's like a confetti hot pink and or a sparkly hot pink. And I thought that the orange with that would be really fun. Like, right? Am I right? Am I right? Okay, so that's what I was thinking for that. I'm using that in my non-filming planner, which I'll separate all these out later and we'll do a kit lineup, but you know. Then I also have this for Lunar New Year. It's in red. Again, I'm not totally sure what my ideas were here. Maybe I was just thinking like I'll pick one and then go from there. So maybe I'll use this with the bundles. We will see. And then I also did pick up these Akatar overlays. And I was thinking with, actually I already think I laid it down. Let me see. Oh, it's in the Erin Condren player. Hold on a second. I was thinking with this kit right I was like thinking this kind of just feels very like um what the heck is that house called I'm like losing my mind today like the night court what is it called the house of wind it kind of reminds me of house of wind if house of wind was like kind of pinker I don't know so I was like whenever I was putting the boxes down I was like all right let's do kind of more like what reminds me of Akatar. so I figured I could just like throw these over or wait not this one 
was it this one? Oh yeah I have lavender hollow to put in here and then I have gold hollow why do I have gold hollow I don't really know new year's gold hollow I don't know why I have gold hollow but we're gonna use this here and then I think I was gonna maybe use gold hollow with the actual Akatar kit but I think this would be really pretty to throw in here so I think that's what my idea was. Do I know for sure? No. And then last but not least, I do have some hearts and flower underlays. And I was thinking about using this with another Valentine's Day kit. I think it was this one. So I have it with this one here. This is in the color lavender and it's like a rose. And I was thinking about using one of these two foil bundles. So I was thinking about either using this like purpley pink color that came out recently or using this like sparkly pink that came out even more recently. I think because this is kind of like a little bit close to this color, I'm thinking that I'm going to use the like sequin confetti pink with this and that'll be really, really a pretty combo and do like the like the regular pink bougie underneath or over top of it. I think that's going to be fabulous with that. I really love that idea. So that my friends is everything. I'm sorry this part of the... I honestly, I haven't eaten anything today, and I also am trying to give up caffeine, so it's, it's day two, no caffeine, so I'm, like, kind of losing it at all times in the brain, but also just trying to keep it together. So that's everything for the sticker portion of the haul. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. Well, let's start with this wax portion. <laughs> she's crazy. She's sick. She's everything. So I'm going to try and separate this by what I believe is what. Um, there's, I think, three technically different releases in here. So, yeah. Thank you, Kirsten. I'm, I'm so excited to delve into this. So first things first, first little thing here is the Kirsten's fave for this year, which is apple strudel glazed donuts and zucchini bread and... Let me just tell you, this sounds yum-tastic. I'm probably going to pick up extras of this. Yeah, it smells so stinking good. This would also probably be my favorite. Mm, it's delicioso. If you like things that I like, you're definitely going to like that one. Then I went ahead and picked up some of these single scent oil snap bars. I didn't pick them up. Kirsten gave them to me. But she sent me a list and she was like, I don't know if you want all 31 of these. So just let me know which ones you do want and I will bring them to you. So I will just go through the ones that actually, not a lot of these, like I haven't, I haven't smelled a lot of these single scent oils. So yellow cake, it smells mostly like sure who royale, maybe a little bit sweeter. Blackberry jam butter cookies is one of my favorite scent oils. It's just so good. It's like a sweet in like a fruity way bakery scent. Cinnamon glazed baklava. It's a very like Christmas fall type cinnamon bakery scent. Marshmallow peppermint always gives me um, January vibes. Yes, very, very January. It almost smells like the artificial chocolate, but like in a good way. And then butter mints I also love. I'm so excited for this. I just think butter mints is my favorite of all of the minty scents because it's a very like mellowed out mint and gives like very like, it smells like a butter mint. Um, and then let's see, apple cider donut. We know that one. This one does smell a little bit more apple -y. I think I've only smelled apple cider donut mixed with things that are more bakery, but that one still smells good. Very more fruity. And then amaretto is another one I know. Yeah, that one is super, super yummy almond scent. It smells almost like body care. And then there is zucchini pumpkin bread, which is super so good. I love zucchini bread with basically anything. It's just proven. Flannel type. This one is very like expensive sweater on the man type scent. I love that. Actually, I have something that smells like that from Bath and Body Works in my bathroom right now. It smells really good. Sweater weather type. Mm, this one is more like a perfumey. It smells like a, almost like a gender neutral kind of cologne perfume moment. North Pole type, which is sweet peppermint sticks with creamy, rich vanilla. That sounds good. Oh, yeah. Another one that gives very much January energy. This almost smells like the milkshake from Chick-fil-A or the way that I get it is, um, uh, is it Bluebell? Bluebell? 
has an ice cream that's like basically the dupe, so might as well get it that way. Christmas tree, which smells literally like a Christmas tree. It smells like the realest Christmas tree I've ever smelled. Alpine cheer type. Hmm. I feel like this smells like an icy, all slightly fruity Christmas tree. That's what I'm getting, like almost like a wreath. Does that make sense with like berries in it? Aspen winter type. This I've smelled before. It has like almost like a wood scent. Like a cedar or something like that. Like a wood. Almost smells like a woody, like a, almost like a winter library. That's what I'm thinking that smells like, in my opinion. Um, so those are those things. And then this was the Grinch collection, which we got, we got a lot of, of footage to cover here. So this one is 6.30 dinner with me. I can't cancel that again, which is seven at pound cake cupcakes at Tiffany's. Again, fabulous. Mm, it smells so good. I love cupcakes at Tiffany. Tiffany's mixed with about anything. Cindy Lou Who, which is pink sugar and peppermint, which I love this combo. I think pink sugar and blue sugar with the mints, any of the mints, is a stellar combination. Very January. Help me, I'm feeling, which is butterscotch, buttery gingerbread and pretzel. Mmm. That one's yumtastic. Mostly to me smells like the pretzel, but the other scent notes are really making that smell extra, like, extra, like, it's like a caramel, but like a buttery, like a buttery heavy caramel. This one's Mount Crumpet, which is warm vanilla sugar, Palo Santo, and candy canes. I love Palo Santo. Mmm, that smells, that smells bomb. Holy guacamole, that's so good. If there's more of that on the site, I might be picking up some extras there. Whoville, which is peppermint bark and sugar cookies. Just like what it sounds like, again, a very January-centric kind of scent for me. Holiday Cheer, which is brown sugar, pecan, and pie crust. Is that what? Was that? Oh, no, it was Alpine Cheer. Mmm! That smells good. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting, I'm getting hungry. The Grinch, which is Christmas cabin type. It smells like... cinnamon but like not the spicy cinnamon and then like wood christmas tree kind of vibes but i'm mostly smelling like a cinnamon martha bay which is amaretto nog i love that these are big old lips that's so funny this one is very light so i can't wait to warm this and see oh what she smells like because i love amaretto kind of smells a little bit perfumey but like in a very mild body care like almost like a lotion way Am I just eating because I'm bored? Literally always me. Cinnamon rolls, caramel, cheesecake, and vanilla hazelnut hazelnut coffee. Mmm. This is a really good one too. Again, the cinnamon rolls isn't leaning too like spicy cinnamon. This is cute, little gingerbread house. Um, Christmas means a little bit more, which is cherry cookies, vanilla bean Noel, and sugar cookie royale. This one is interesting, really nice. I, I smell the sugar cookie royale, but I feel like the cherry cookies is coming out a little bit and it smells very yummy. And then Max, which is roasted pine cones, mac apple, and glazed donuts. This one's very mac apple heavy. I don't know if it's for me because not a huge fan of mac apple and this would be enough for like my office. So I might pass this one on just cause it's a little bit too appley. But if you like mac apple, that one's for you. Double eight loathe entirely, which is blackberry toasted mallow and pumpkin pecan waffles. Oh yeah, she's real good. That's real nice. So that's everything from this fantasy wax haul. I'm so excited. I have been melting up a storm recently. I've been flying through wax. So I'm very excited to get to all this probably next year if I'm being realistic. But yeah, let's see the next portion. Wax time, baby, and you're getting my first sniffs on this one. Let me just check my, uh, yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and get into this fantasy wax little situation here. So this is the, like, Kirsten 
collection, which I'm very excited about because I feel like Kirsten loves bakery scents. So I'm very excited. So this one's called Go Team and it's pistachio, sugar cookies, and zucchini bread for her love of all things soccer. Mmm, that smells yummy delicious. That's gonna perform like a dream. So go team. Very pistachio, pistachio y. Then morning caffeine, which is caramel coffee, brown sugar, and glazed donuts. Oh, that's delicious too. It's very like smells like a coffee shop, as it should. Then 29, which is how old Kirsten is, is Bear Claws Almond and Amaretto. It smells almost like it smells like a body care almond mixed with like a glazed like donut. It smells very yummy. The next one is, is I've been waiting for you. And this is pink frosted cake, yellow cake, and buttercream frosting. Ooh. Ooh, that one's delicious. That one smells like a really intense, like, sugar cookie royale cousin. All right, all right, all right. Very Austin. French baguette funnel cake, which is Matthew McConaughey. Mmm. This one smells so good. It's like a spicy bread. Scream Queen, which is Amish cinnamon bread and pumpkin spice latte for all things fall and Halloween. Ooh. That's like a really nice combo. I like that. It's a very like mellowed out coffee scent. She's good. Ghost with the most babe is apple fritters, blueberry cheesecake, and sugar cookie. Ooh. This is very fruity, but it smells really good with the apple fritters. So yum. Ocean Eyes, which is strawberry pound cake, lemon pound cake, and sugar cookie royale. Ooh. That's really good. It kind of smells like a cereal. I know, but I can't put my finger on it. It smells very yummy. 90s K, which is blackberry jam, cotton candy, and Mountain Dew. That is intense. Intense fruity. Very summer vibes. Hanging by a moment, which is cool water tight. Smells like a cologne, like a very fancy cologne. Book Girly, which is blackberry jam, butter cookie, salted caramel, and pumpkin pecan waffles. Ooh. This one's super yummy. Oh, that one's really good. And then the last one here is a little snack, which is brown sugar, pretzel, and zucchini bread. Like, all of her favorite things. Ooh. This one might be my favorite one. It's so delicious. Such a good, cute little collection of all of the person things. I love. It's so adorable. And I love all the colors. I love this purple color a lot. So... That is everything for this haul, and I hope you are having a fantastic holiday season, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!